Welcome back. It's a mostly sunny sky out there with temperatures well above normal for this time in October. Sitting at 79 degrees right now with just a light wind out of the south. A little bit of haze on the horizon. Not only we've been having to deal with some wildfires in northwest North Dakota, but wildfires of sometimes even larger magnitudes in uh, the big horns of Wyoming, other parts of Wyoming, and the northern Rockies towards the Pacific Northwest. Some of that wildfire smoke filtering into our region, mostly aloft in waves, but a thicker plume of that smoke could come our way for Thursday ahead of a cold front. We'll have to watch that closely because some of that could be closer to the ground to impact air quality briefly. Again, all this wildfire smoke coming from those fires out west, but then kind of squeezed down towards the surface, possibly on Thursday ahead of that cold front. So we might have some impacts to air quality uh, as we see some of that western wildfire smoke move back in. But for tonight, it's a mostly clear sky with low temperatures dropping down into the low to middle 40s and then well above normal temperatures tomorrow ranging from the upper 70s to the northeast to 84 degrees for October 9th in Minot. Pretty remarkable and within about 5 degrees of a record high. Record was set back in 1910 in Minot at 89 degrees for October 9th. But uh, here's that forecast hour by hour showing that mostly sunny sky. As we go through our Wednesday, wind out of the west between 5 and 15 miles per hour. So the 80s are not too, too common in October. Usually we see our last 80 degree day of the year at the end of September. The latest on record for seeing an 80 degree day is the day before Halloween. That was in 1950. And again, we're going to be seeing 80s for especially tomorrow. With the warm front gliding through this evening, keeps us fairly mild. We'll drop down into the 40s, though, tonight under that clear sky. Then abundant sunshine for our Wednesday, 20 to 30 degree above normal temperatures. Pretty remarkable with highs in the 80s and that west wind just between 5 and 15 miles per hour. Then a cold front approaches for Thursday. That'll switch our wind direction to be out of the northwest and introduce some upwards of 30 mile per hour gusts. We'll also have more clouds in the region on Thursday with that frontal passage, but I'm not expecting any precipitation before high pressure settles in for Friday, which with much cooler weather. But here's that wind forecast. Not much for our Wednesday, uh, but then into Thursday with that cold front switching the wind direction to be out of the northwest, we could see some of those gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour. Quick look down in the Gulf of Mexico with Hurricane Milton. Now again, a Category 5 storm making a beeline for the Florida Peninsula as we go into our Wednesday afternoon and evening. That's when the impacts will be felt from Hurricane Milton, upwards of 10 to 15 feet of storm surge. So uh, all of our friends down in Florida will face those impacts in the coming days. For us, not a whole lot of weather impacts outside of those winds increasing for Thursday and again for Saturday. Temperatures decrease fairly sub uh, substantially more seasonable temperatures in the mid to upper 50s and low 60s by Friday and the weekend and into early next week, Joe. And overnight lows by that point, dipping down into the 20s and 30s. So feeling more like fall as we get a little bit later in this forecast period. Yeah, I guess it's that time of the year. We're going to start seeing some of those lows overnight. All right, thank you so much for that, Jacob.